Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at the play button and the different options we have for choosing what it does. Now there are four different things we can look at. They're up here in our main menu under navigate. We'll go to play button options and you can see we have four different things. We have the marquee selection, the cycle start, selected region, and from the last locate position. So first let's look at the marquee position or the marquee tool. That's this tool right here. I have it as my secondary tool, but I also have it set up so that it acts like a smart tool. So inside my track, the bottom half is the marquee. So when I push play now, even though I have my cycle selected turned on, the marquee gets first priority. You can see that here from the list because it's at the top. So if I were to turn off marquee selection, even though I have a marquee selection, it's playing now from over there. So that works like that for all of them. Now, I, because I do have the selected region and the last locate position turned on, even if I make a selection, oh, but even if I do a, a new position, it's, it's going to go back up to the top one on that list, which is turned on. Let's go ahead and turn off the cycle start for a minute so you can see this. So let's choose an area. Was I held in my mother's 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 so now it's doing it off of that selection. And it's a little bit ironic that the last position, so say I have that chosen there. Was I held in my mother's So the last selected position, it's a little bit ironic that that's the very last one since that's how many of the other applications seem to work. But you can choose any of these you want. You can have multiple on here or you can leave them all on and just remember which one you're using. Marquee is, it takes an extra step because it's a different tool. The cycle selection you can have on, but you can actually use a keyboard shortcut to turn it on and off. So you can use them all, or you can just say, I, you know, I want just the last selected position. Now this one does stump some people sometimes because what happens is you push play. And even though it stops right there and it looks like it's right there, the minute you push play again, it's going to go back to where you last selected something. So that one actually is probably my least favorite overall. I would rather probably just use nothing than that. Now it'll stop right where it is and continue going. Okay, so how do you easily change these? Well, you can just go through the menu like this. You can choose the one you want. You can see I've got a keyboard shortcut selected to this. However, that didn't come from logic. So if we look at this, so we say play from cycle start, we go to our key commands and edit them. You can see right here, I've typed that in. You have a bunch of commands here that you can add. So you can say play from beginning, play from previous bar, play from left locator, right locator. You can do all of those things, but there is no key command to turn on or off that function. So what we have to do is use our operating system to do that instead. That's really easy to do. Go into your system preferences under keyboard. So we go to keyboard under shortcuts. Then we go to app shortcuts. And you can see under Logic Pro, I added play from cycle start to command option equals. So now inside Logic, if I'm holding down command option equals and I push play, but it's now to do. and if I push command option equals again, so it's really easy to type that keyboard shortcut in, just a thumb and a finger to turn it on or off. You can assign any unused, we well, can assign any key command, but you want to do one that's not used by something else because they will conflict with each other. So how did I do that for this? Let's go back and I'll show you one more time. So in here we have play from selected region. So let's do that one real quick, just so you can see it. 
play from selected region. So I'm going to come in here, shortcuts, app shortcuts, click on Logic Pro. I'm going to push the plus. I'm going to say play from selected region. Now I'm just doing the exact name of the menu command from Logic. So in here, it's any of these commands, anything that's in one of the menus here, you could see that there are some other things which don't have key commands already assigned. For instance, inside out, inside locators or outside locators, I could add a key command through the system with those. But then I come back, type it in, and then I'm going to type in the exact keyboard shortcut and do the command option dash right next to the equal sign. And now when I come into logic under navigate, play button, you can see it added it in there to the menu. So this is a really cool way that OS 10 interacts with our applications because these are all tied in with the finder and the, the system preferences. So you can add keyboard shortcuts to things which don't have the option inside the logic key command editor. Okay, so which way do I prefer to work the most? I actually love and hate the cycle option. I just think that too often or not, um, I'm not using that in the same way. I'll use this to export the project a certain length. I'll also use this for other things like inserting time or deleting time. But I don't really, or if I'm looping, that is the other time I'll use this a lot, is when I'm looping something and trying to record in loop or MIDI loop. But a lot of times I don't want this to really affect what I'm doing when I'm playing things back. So that's why I'll turn this one off. I do like having the marquee one on because with the marquee tool, this is something that you have to really purposefully get to. And I can really easily on the track itself, choose something. And then if I just want to hear that cycle, um, we can turn that on. And so that's really easy. And then it's also easy just to, uh, to deactivate that by clicking off of it. So that's a pretty easy way to do. I like the marquee one. I usually like the cycle for other things and not for the playback. Um, in terms of the clicking a region or the last playback thing, I usually leave those deactivated all the time. Okay, I hope this was useful. I hope that you learned something a little bit more about the play button. This is the play button right here. So all of these things, even though I was using the space bar, are attached to that functionality. Hope you're having a great week. We're going to be doing a bunch of videos over the next couple of weeks through the rest of October. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and just come back often.